Hey guys, what's up? It's Patrick here, and today bringing you guys the next episode of my Quest of 4,000 Trophies series, and today we are making our final push towards 4,000 Trophies. Like we were when we ended the last episode, we're sitting at over 3,900 Trophies, so if we get some good bases today, hopefully we don't fail, uh, we should be able to get to over 4,000, so let's go ahead and attack some bases. So the first base here, you guys probably have seen this base design before. It's sort of like the most popular base design where you see the compartments on the outside, but this one has a little bit of a wrinkle, which is becoming more popular, where they have like a little side compartment. You can see the archer tower on the left-hand side and the archer tower on the right-hand side. Some people put their archer towers in that single compartment and some put mortars. Um, but what I did with this strategy, which is a little bit different, instead of saving my jump spell to jump into the center and only dropping one jump spell in the beginning, I actually dropped both jump spells in the very beginning and I did that so I could spread my golems out and to sort of attack the base um, and like spread out my attack. I didn't just want to attack from one side and risk not getting to 50% and I knew that my queen would be able to shoot over the top because she has, she has a super long range and I was banking on my queen shooting down the town hall and that's why I saved my rage spell towards the very end. So in the end it did work out. I did get to 55%. Most of the times this actually does work and you can see I did get 29 trophies because there were a ton available. I think like over 40 uh, maybe 44 um, but that attack has been pretty common recently and uh, it's definitely one that like sort of goes against most of the attacks that I put together because usually I try to be as calculated as possible and make sure I can get my Pekka's to jump over and make sure I can get everyone into the main compartment but with that attack I more or less focus on destroying all the buildings around the town hall and then I focus on letting my queen um, sort of just wrap the raid up and you sort of just have to pray that she gets it done and most of the time she actually does um, just based on the buildings that you destroy before the queen gets to the center but anyways let's go ahead and talk about this next raid this guy did have his town hall on the outside but unfortunately he had more than one one trophy available which is pretty rare so I decided to go for the two star and to do that like I've mentioned in previous episodes I'm sort of just spreading my golems out spreading my heroes out and letting those guys destroy the base I try to save as many troops as I can so you can see I still have two P.E.K.K.A.s some of my spells left I'm really just trying to hold on to those as much as I can and not waste them if I don't have to and uh, we're sitting at 41% almost at 50% I think we should be able to get there without having to drop the rest of my troops and uh, let's go ahead and see this one wrap up. All right, 46%. My king did go down. Queen's going to shoot the elixir storage. I still have a couple more troops left on the left-hand side. So I think I should be good here, and I should be able to get to 50 and like I said, this one was pretty easy. It's always a nice it's always nice to attack bases like this because there's literally no risk in attacking it because you've already destroyed the town hall on the outside. Even though there's only maybe, uh, if there was only like three or four more trophies that I could have gotten, it might still be worth it just because it takes so long to find a base. And I know I've been raiding with Galadon recently inside of the Supercell headquarters and he said for bases like this, if they have three trophies available, he'll actually attack the entire base and use his whole entire army to get that second trophy um, just because he doesn't really find that many trophies when he raids. I know that he actually was in the clouds for six hours yesterday, and he only found one raid that was worth 22 trophies, and he said that was actually an above average day of raiding, which was pretty depressing to me, but I'll, I'll talk about that later, and uh, hopefully I'm, I'm not getting to that point just yet. It does take me a long time to find a base, but uh, let's just go ahead and attack the next base and uh, see what we can cook up. All right, so for this next one here, again, I like to attack bases from different angles rather than try to attack from where... Uh, like the village owner tries to set me up like usually I think this guy's trying to bait me to attack from the top and that's where most of his defenses are that's where his heroes are that's where like not a lot of walls are but instead of doing that I actually do have two jump spells and I can use those to get creative and make a better way to the center so that's what I'm going to do by attacking from the very bottom I spread my golems out that way I'm going to get plenty of percentage points as well as I did drop my heroes as well as two of my P.E.K.K.A. on the right hand side and using the jump spells I was able to get those guys into the core and uh, overall I felt this was a little bit safer I didn't have to deal with his archer queen or his barbarian king at least like from my archer queen I know I know that my queen's going to be able to shoot the town hall uninterrupted uh, which is really valuable and I know that she'll be able to take that out so I knew it was pretty much guaranteed a star after that all went down and since I spread out my troops so wide I knew I had a pretty good shot of getting the 50% so 49% still a couple of troops left inside of the center should be able to take those out got to 50 by destroying the building on the left hand side gonna go ahead and end the battle there and we ended up with 10 trophies for that raid so pretty good stuff like I said I try to attack bases without with at least 15 available and attacking this next base here I was actually sitting at 3,996 trophies so unless I got a little bit nervous and failed this raid I knew I would be able to get to 4,000 and trust me if you guys are like longtime subscribers and if you are that's amazing if you might remember my quest to 200 uh, or the top 200 series 
back in back in 2013, I actually had some sort of fail on the final raid where I, I somehow had both of my heroes actually get the less, last 20% of the raid or else I would have lost like 33 trophies or something like that. So hopefully we're not going to have a fail here. And I think things are looking pretty good so far because as you can see, I have a ton of wizards running around the base and uh, overall they're pretty protected and they're not getting shot down too hard by that Inferno Tower. So Rage Spell in the center. Barbarian King is doing his own thing, attacking a wall on the right-hand side. But my queen is in the center, which is the most important part. And uh, as she shoots down that town hall... We're going to get a victory, and let's go ahead and see if we can cap it off with a 50%. So still have plenty of troops, still have my king's ability, still have the lightning spell as well, but I'm not going to need any of that. I still have plenty of stuff remaining, and uh, I don't think I have a chance of a 3-star, though, because most of my golems are on the left. So I'm going to end the battle there. Another 10 trophy raid for attacking a base with 15 available. Let's go ahead and head back to our village and see what our final count is at. So as you guys can see, I am at 4,002 trophies. We finally hit 4,000 trophies. Definitely took a little bit too long, but I buckled down over the last week. I was raiding nonstop in the office, and uh, overall, it was a pretty good experience, and I definitely want to talk more about it in a wrap-up video. I'm definitely not going to drop trophies just yet. I think I'm going to push a little bit harder as well as I have some really fun video ideas that I want to do up above 4,000 trophies. And uh, now that I hit 4,000, I'm not worried about losing too much, but I definitely would like to push a little bit farther until I get to the point where Galadon says, again, he searches for six hours and finds literally one base to attack worth 20 trophies. Because when it comes to that point, that's sort of just uh, soul crushing and uh, it's already sort of depressing as it is right now when I'm in the clouds. But I'm going to do more. Uh, I'm going to talk more about the trophy push in a wrap up video for you guys sort of talk about my thoughts about high level trophy pushing I, I did a little bit uh, of a talk on Twitter about it um, but it's some pretty interesting stuff it's probably going to be a longer video just talking about where the system is at right now and maybe some ideas to some for some ideas of what Supercell could do in the future, but I'm gonna I'll save it for then. I'm gonna enjoy 4,000 trophies for now. If you guys want to check me out uh, again, I'll put the link or I'll put my clan hashtag in the description below. And uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up this video, and that will wrap it up for this series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe you learned some trophy pushing stuff along the way, and I can't wait to show you guys what is coming up next. That's gonna do it. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.